I have been coming on to Zoom looking like a freaking potato every single day. Hey you guys, I hope you are all doing well. I have not recorded a video in what feels like such a long time, but to be honest, I really wanted to sit down and kind of just ease my nerves today, and talking to you guys is my way to do that. So thank you for watching, number one. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because I do post videos about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and speech pathology. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup for Zoom teletherapy sessions, which is literally all I've been doing for the past few weeks. Kind of crazy, but I'll definitely give you guys some insight into how that's going in this video. So if you want to hear all about my updates on work and SLP life and also get some really creative tips for your makeup, then go ahead and watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, ladies, I'm bringing over my makeup stash so that we can start. Let's start with brows. I'm using a spoolie and going into my got to be glue. I know this is weird, but this is how I always start my makeup. I put a little bit on the end of my spoolie and then I just dis disperse it through my brow. I recommend if this is your first time doing this, going super lightly because the goal is just to get your eyebrows look a little bit more spiky. So it went from like a smooth brow like that to just a more structured brow, bushy, spiky. I personally love that look. I'm gonna do a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, you wanna let that dry for a little bit and to be honest, you can kind of stop with this step if you want to. I'm gonna keep going, but you can stop here. There's plenty of days where I literally just do my eyebrows and that's it. I'm gonna keep going and go into this polypeptide cream from Drunk Elephant. This is a tester, but I don't have any um, moisturizer on right now, so I'm just gonna moisturize. Okay, also at this point, I would recommend doing any other skincare that you normally do. Wash your face, put on your eye cream, do your um, serums or whatever. I did that already this morning because I already had a session that I didn't do my makeup for. Because to be honest, guys, like I haven't done makeup in so long, so this is for you who wants to wear makeup and for me who needs to feel inspired to wear makeup. For today, I chose this Fenty Beauty foundation. Reason why is because it is the lightest foundation that I have and also, when I use it, I put on a very light layer. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm opening up my Fenty Beauty and I'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand. I put a very small amount. I'm taking my Beauty Blender. This is the one from Morphe and it's actually lit. I really like it and picking up I'm mainly gonna put this in the middle of my face and also focus on where I have some dark spots and then just blend it out from there going in with another small layer this time I'm going to try to put it directly on my face so I can get a little bit more coverage. I'm trying to think, do I need concealer today? I'm gonna put the smallest amount of concealer on. Using my Born This Way Multi Sculpting Use Concealer in the color Chestnut, I am putting the smallest amount of concealer under my eyes because remember we're on video camera and you're with children you might be with, be with a few parents but for me personally I'm mostly with children so do kids care about makeup no so let me give you guys some updates about that actually while we're talking about 
teletherapy um whoa i saw a post in a facebook group for SLPs the other night and I related to it so much but I also had like conflicting views so if you guys are still in school or you're just watching videos about SLP just to find out more info right now just like so many other careers SLP has moved to teletherapy and we're doing everything online and it's just a big big change for a lot of people um, for me personally, it has been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun to interact with them via teletherapy and I see like some kids, their behavior is so much better because their family is around. Kids are a little bit more engaged. Um, the sessions move fast and you know, other than being at the computer all day, it's really not that bad. But I and finished with the concealer it did brighten my face if you want it what I would recommend is taking a small brush like this this is a MAC 224 and taking your powder I'm using the Maybelline fit me powder I'm taking the Maybelline fit me on the top and just like pressing in a bit tapping and I'm just gonna tap where I put the concealer so that four o'clock at the end of the day I don't look like a monster and also like on my nose and up in between my brows is where I get oily also like right here don't know why but this spot here so much oil all the time have you guys been seeing those TikTok makeup tutorials because I've been seeing them I tried one and it did not work for me. I'm gonna put some down here too, just because I put an extra layer, layer, <laughs> what? I put an extra layer of foundation there and I don't want that to move either. Also, it gives me coverage when I do this. So if you're ever like in actual meetings with actual people and not children, and you want some more coverage, the powder can work for that too. I did just pick up this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. So I saw Jackie Aina use this and she said that it smelled amazingly so that's why I picked it up. Also Wet n Wild is on the come up so I'm going to spray my beauty blender with this and just press. Now I'm picking up a brush. I'm going to use the same brush as last time and this ColourPop palette. This is new. These colors are just beautiful. So I'm just going to pick up Duh and pass it on. I'm going to pick them up together. But I'm just putting this on the crease of my eyelids and wiggling it around. I'm going to bring it down to my actual eyelid too to cover the whole thing. Is anyone else feeling like they're like kind of going crazy in the house? Because I'm like there, but every time I get to that point, I just do things to bring myself back. Like I work out, I've been cooking, um, I've been on FaceTime with friends and with my family yesterday I went for a drive that was like necessary so what have you guys been doing to kind of stay sane Because if you're working from home like I am, it's just not easy. So what have been your go-to's? Is it like self-care? Is it doing your makeup? Because to be honest, I haven't found the deep drive to do my makeup. Okay guys, I blended everything out. So I'm going to go back into my brow pencil and I'm going to add a few more strokes, hair-like strokes to my brows. The reason why I waited for this is because it takes a little bit for that gel to dry 
So you want to give it time to do that and then go back with the product or else it just looks really muddy. I've done it before, so just try to avoid that. I'm just going to add some hair-like strokes. Just focus it on the places in your brows where it's just a little bit more sparse. If your brows aren't sparse, you're blessed and I don't like you. So there's that. You can skip this step, you can fast forward through this part. And we're just not friends. So, wow, that made such a huge difference. Now, what I'm going to do next is just take my mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Big Colossal sorry the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot mascara and I'm gonna put like the littlest bit on my top and my bottom lashes bottom lashes just tilt your head back and dry 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 now mascara is something you may not want to put on. I like to put it on because it just makes me look more awake and it also just emphasizes my eyes a little bit more. So optional, don't have to do it, up to you. There's about two more steps that I'm going to do. I'm picking up my blush brush and my blush. I'm going to be just putting this all over like the middle of my face area and a little bit of my head because I'm not bronzing or anything like that. So I start off like on my nose and just kinda make myself look like I didn't wake up five minutes before the session because <laughs> y'all, when I said it's a transition, it's a transition. So I'm putting a little bit on my head, like I said. I don't know why I put it there, I just always like to kind of frame my face with the blush and then bring it back to the apples of your cheeks. Okay, and now that I look rosy, the last step is picking up my Rum Raisin. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick and it has a little bit of color. Also put this on your nose, cheeks, like a bomb type situation. Okay. Blue light glasses, sweatshirt, and you're ready for your session, girl. Or your meeting, or whatever you're going to. I got these on Amazon. I will put a link down below for sure, but y'all, this is it for your Zoom teletherapy session makeup. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. Please give me a subscribe, meaning if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye.